With some nicer weather approaching later this week, you may be getting ready for some outdoor entertaining. And if you're inviting people over for a party or even just a little date night, the thought of what to get for food is usually a big question. So in this week's Make It Monday, we're showing you a trendy tray that'll make your mouth water. The charcuterie board is as much a piece of art as it is an appetizer or even a meal. Charcuterie is the branch of cooking devoted to cured meats, which is turned into something much more. And it's the idea of celebrating around the table. It's bringing in the artisanal aspects of, say, the European villages. And now it's become very popular here. We stop by the market at Coastal Fog in Greenville for a lesson in creating a fabulous charcuterie board for your next gathering. One of the owners, Julie Dietrich, says while it looks elaborate, it's actually an easy concept. The idea is that we eat with our eyes first. So if you walk in and you see something like this, it's automatically something you want and you're going to enjoy. For this board, Julie has just about everything, especially when it comes to flavor. You'll bring in spicy or you'll bring in uh, the ham, the, the prosciutto. Um, this is a spicy capicola or just a Genoa salami. Whatever types of meats you have in the house or at the grocery store, it doesn't have to be anything super exotic. Next, add the cheese. Use a combination of hard cheeses, the firm, yeah. you know, maybe a Comte mm -hmm. from France or a, a Gouda, Dutch Gouda, um, and then the spreadable, softer blue cheese and breeze. As for fruit, any fruit goes, in my opinion. Don't forget to add bread and crackers. To give it more flavor, texture, and layers, add some greens with artichokes or olives. Include some compotes for the cheeses and mustards for the meats. It's also easy to plan ahead. Just use your jelly roll pan at home and cut everything up and portion it, wrap it in saran, and, um, and then you, know, you can come home from work and literally throw it on the board and be ready. Julie walked me through creating my own charcuterie board. Um, there's no right or wrong. First, we started with the rolled meats, then added the cheese, some in chunks, others in blocks. Next, we added a bed of greens, some grapes, and sprinkled dried cranberries and pumpkin seeds. To finish, we filled in some holes with additional meats and cheese. Pair it with a bottle of wine, and this is perfect for date night. All right, I know it's really early in the morning, but I'm already craving everything on that board. By the way, these boards are great to create for parties, and if there is other food to snack on too, Julie recommends planning for your charcuterie board to be about one ounce per guest. That's your Make It on this Monday. For other Make It ideas any day of the week, visit my Pinterest page. You can also follow along on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram by searching Maria WNCT.